Welcome to the Finding Chemical Information in PubChem tutorial. PubChem is the National Library of Medicine's Open Chemistry Database. This video will demonstrate how to search PubChem with chemical names and identifiers, molecular formulas, gene symbols, proteins, pathways, taxons, cell lines, and patent numbers. You can search PubChem with many different types of chemical identifiers. For example, you can search for a chemical name, like neuratinib, or search with a synonym for a chemical, like Nerlinx or HKI-272, which are synonyms for neuratinib. PubChem also recognizes other identifiers, including the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, or UIPAC name, and Chemical Abstract Services, or CAS numbers. You can see these identifiers for neuratinib on the screen. To search for a chemical name in PubChem, type your terms into the search box. For example, I'll search for citric acid. As I type, PubChem autofills a list of potential compound, gene, and taxonomy names. I can either click on the term I'm looking for from the autofill list, or I can click enter on the keyboard to search. If I select an option from the autofill list, PubChem will add double quotations around my terms, which will limit my results to PubChem records that contain the exact phrase in their name. Searching PubChem with just the terms will search for records with citric and acid in their names, but not necessarily citric acid. Therefore, I may see a different number of results depending on the method I use. I'll now hit enter on the keyboard to search without selecting from the autofill list. The first result is the best match which is the result that PubChem suggests is most relevant to your search. To see how many total compound and substance records PubChem has for citric acid, scroll below the best match search to the menu with tabs including compounds, substances, genes, pathways, and other data type categories. The number indicates how many records PubChem has for each data type. Scroll back up to the best match box on the results page. It includes identifiers for citric acid, including the compound CID, molecular formula, MF, and molecular weight, MW. The compound ID is the compound's unique PubChem identifier. The compound ID for citric acid is 311. To return to this compound directly, you can search PubChem with the compound CID. Now I'll click on this record to view it. PubChem pages have a few features that help you navigate to the information you need. The first feature is a contents menu with sections and subsections that organize different types of data, like bioassay results and gene or protein targets. Another useful feature is the tooltips that describe what each section and subsection contain. Look for the question mark icon beside a section's title and click on it to reveal details about that section. Next, I'll demonstrate searching with a molecular formula with the formula for salicylic acid, which is c 7 h 6 O3. On the results page, there is a note that PubChem is treating this as a molecular formula query. This means PubChem automatically detects I'm searching with a molecular formula and will retrieve results that match the formula. I see salicylic acid is the top result. The molecular formula is listed in the MF field on the results page. Now I'll demonstrate searching with a gene or protein in PubChem. 
If a gene or protein target has been tested in a bioassay or is involved in a pathway, then it will have a record in PubChem. For example, to find information about the vitamin D receptor gene, I'll search PubChem for vitamin D receptor. I see that PubChem is autofilling a list of potential gene names. From that list, I'll click on the gene I'm looking for, vitamin D receptor. On the results page, I see summaries for the vitamin D receptor of different organisms. I'll scroll down until I see the result for VDR vitamin D receptor human. I can already see a lot of information about the gene on the results page, including how many linked bioassays and linked pathways it has in PubChem. These numbers appear in blue boxes with the summary on the results page. Clicking on those numbers will take you directly to a list of related bioassay and pathway PubChem summaries. Now let's focus on pathways. If you need to know which chemicals or genes interact with a specific biological pathway, you can find that in PubChem. I'll search for the pathway lidocaine metabolism. On the results page, I see pathway records. When new pathway data for any taxonomy is added to PubChem, a new pathway record is created. In the list for lidocaine metabolism, I see a result from the source PathBank for the Homo sapiens human taxonomy. I also see two entries from the source Wiki Pathways, one for the Bos taurus cattle and one for the Homo sapiens human taxonomy. The results page also displays how many PubChem compounds, gene, and protein records are linked to each pathway. These are displayed as blue boxes with numbers. You can also search with a taxon in PubChem. Taxonomy summaries include data available in PubChem associated with a specific organism. This includes biological experiments archived in PubChem bioassay that were conducted against the organism as a whole or a particular gene or protein of it, as well as the compounds tested in those experiments. I'll search for malaria. On the results page, I'll click on the taxonomy tab to view taxonomy results for malaria. I see multiple results for malaria. Results may display a linked bioassay account, linked protein count, linked gene count, and linked pathways count. These are shown as blue boxes with a number. Next, let's focus on cell lines. Cell line summaries include PubChem data related to cell lines, such as compounds and bioassays tested against the cell line, and drug sensitivity data. I'll search PubChem for T-47D, which is a cell line used for breast cancer research. The results page shows 11 cell lines to choose from. Finally, I'll demonstrate how to search with patent numbers. Patent summaries include PubChem data related to specific patents, like PubChem compounds and PubChem substances linked to a patent. The simplest way to find a patent in PubChem is to search for its patent number. I'll search PubChem for the patent number US 9072661B2. This retrieves one result for a patent titled Injectable Ibuprofen Formulation. The results page displays many linked compounds and linked substances for this patent. These are shown as blue boxes with numbers in them. This concludes the Finding Chemical Information in PubChem video. For additional help, view the documentation on the PubChem help page. A link to the help page is available at the bottom of every PubChem page.